Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm out on the V8F and I'm going for a little range test. So I've got my EEC World app running. I'm cruising at around 19 miles per hour, 19, 20 miles per hour. I'm a 75, say a 75 kilogram rider and uh, I'm just going to take you guys along. I really wanted to see how far I can go on this uh, 518 watt hour battery on this wheel. So I've got a, uh, what is it, a little bit of a side wind, but it's pretty much uh, flat and a little bit of uphill, but it's very, very slightly. So uh, I'm going to crack on going in the one direction and then uh, check here, get uh, destroyed by the cars. I'm on the cycle path. This is so nice. It's totally separate to the, separate to the, to the road, and that's awesome. So it is. Uh, the app says it's 31 degrees. That's not true. I think it's probably about. Uh, I think it's probably about 24 degrees outside. And as you can see, I've got shorts and a t-shirt on. It's absolutely lovely. Um, and I've just started riding. Um, I've done six minutes and the battery is sitting under load at 19 miles per hour at 94 percent uh, 90 uh sitting at but 79 volt an average 10 miles per hour so yeah, i'm just going to cruise i must say when you've got a uh, when you've got a massive open road <laughs> Uh, 18 or 19 miles per hour feels like really slow but it's super nice to be able to just ride I want to see how far I can go on this wheel and give you guys some feedback take you along this is absolutely a beautiful uh, uh, road as you can see from behind me it's just a long long road I'm going on a sl slight uphill and I'm here in uh, Cape Town uh, in Malkbos Strand so uh, beautiful day. We, we, we've got a, a ocean breeze, and that's usually when the southeasterly wind stays away, and, it be, and it's just really nice weather. Super, super comfortable. But yeah, let's get going. I'll give you some feedback as I get along. But check this wheel out. This is the In Motion V8F. And yeah, the wobble is from me bending down, holding the camera, so it's not, uh, it's not the wheel itself. Hello. There are the cyclists. As soon as I stand up, then everything levels out. So it's just when I'm really bending down, and I'm sort of riding the wheel on its, on its, on its limits, as, limit, limits as well. I think this uh, wheel is rated at uh, 20, 22 miles an hour and I'm cruising at like 1920 so we'll see how far we can get on this thing so uh, if you check on Google Maps, it's this Dadastian. It's a nice surf, nice surf spot. You can see the big tankers. If you can see there in the distance, the big tankers uh, with the containers on, they're lying in the in the harbor. And then uh, between the clouds, that's where uh, Table Mountain is. So Bama, you can't see it, but yeah, it's uh, on a nice clear day. You can see Table Mountain. Yeah, this is, the, this is the road that I'm contending with. So I'm going to go out 40, uh, go down to uh, what, uh, 60% on this road, 
and then I'm going to turn uh, turn around. Hopefully, I've got some. I've got 10% left going back. So yeah, and I've got my uh, I've got my Liat uh, knee and shin shin guards on for the first ride, and they are really nice and comfortable. But let's get going. Now I've I've started in Melkbos Strand, and I'm now in Table View, um, or yeah, Table View Big Bay area, and um, I'm sitting at 84%, and I've done. Um, 5.6 miles and I've been riding for 22 minutes it's actually amazing this uh, this little um, battery just uh, uh, runs really nice and I've been uh, cruising there's a slight bit of wind as you can see in the movement of the camera um, but it's but it's uh, but it's really comfortable um, average of 13.8 miles per hour um, that's average speed so yeah it's uh, sitting at 80 80 0.1 volt at the moment 84 percent let's keep on going it's lovely to ride when it's uh, this nice weather so i'm going to try and i'm going to try and cross the road yeah it's quite busy because it's uh, uh, time for everyone to go home on a what is it i think it's a a, a a tuesday i can't remember holiday brain don't don't remember but i'm going to keep on going next to the beach it's absolutely lovely let's get going Okay, I managed to cross the road and uh, I just uh, uh, did a little bit of sand, like soft sea sand and this little wheel is a little bit uh, jittery to be honest. But otherwise it's, uh, it's lovely to be next to the beach here and slow down for the pedestrians. Thank you. Oh, yeah, absolutely brilliant man, you can see the sea next to the beach here, absolutely brilliant. Beautiful. Smell the sea air. Absolutely great. Nice little hop ups and hop downs. didn't like that a little bit of a jump and it was juddering all over the place I was not happy about that so I'll take this slow look at the heck. No, no kites so this is this is pretty much kite beach where the famous i think this is like number two in the world of the best kite areas to go and kite surf and uh, because there's a northwesterly wind it is a uh, very light wind so no one is kite surfing but yeah as you can see absolutely lovely okay let's get going okay just a quick little update um, i'm sitting at 70 percent i'm going to start heading home i ran out of uh, uh, sidewalk or cycling cycling path i don't really want to go on the main on the main road especially when it's time for everyone to go home and they just want to drive as fast as possible done 30 say 40 minutes so far and sitting at 77.8 volt and uh, yeah it's all the way into the wind home so i wonder how the battery is going to keep up with this but yeah let's get going okay guys <laughs> i'm actually glad i didn't go any further i'm like an uh, 
straight dead into the wind. I was actually wondering why, uh, why it's so calm going to the one way and it's just this, uh, this slight bit of wind that's on your back that makes it very nice. It feels like you've got wind, wind on your chest but there's very little because it's blowing from behind and I'm actually heading straight into the wind. It's not a very strong wind but as you can think you know it's a 75 kilogram rider trying to be pushed through the air um, and also trying to balance me at the same time. I hope you can hear this but uh, yeah I'm down to 25% <laughs> and I've done about I think it's about 14 miles so, uh, so yeah you can probably you can probably eke out uh, say about 18 to 20 miles if you go a little bit slower but I'm cruising at uh, what is it between uh, probably about 18 and 20 miles an hour I try and keep it a constant a constant speed it's nice and straight and uh, I'm starting to get some uh, pushback now just want to quickly check so so I'm still cruising at 17 miles an hour sitting at 21% the wheel says it's 35 degrees centigrade Celsius, sorry, centigrade Celsius and an average speed of 12.4 miles per hour, one hour and four minutes. Top speed of 20.8 miles. Yeah, 67 volt, 67.9 volt left on the wheel. But it's still going strong. But all I can say is this is, uh, I think this is why, why um, all, all of our guys that have been riding for such a long time ride bigger wheels, bigger size wheels is, uh, is, is you get so much more um, range and you've also got so much more speed, especially if you are, um, especially if you are uh, on, on a, at a place where you can really consume large amounts of miles it it makes sense it it really makes sense to have a wheel that that can that can cope with that you know 13 miles and i think this wheel is like really nice for in the in the town and so forth it's really zippy going for some shopping and so forth but if you want to cover big miles you need a big battery and especially yeah the curbs is so high that uh, i would prefer definitely a a 18 to a 20 inch wheel just that di that diameter makes such a big difference in the ride comfort uh, not ride comfort but just uh, 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 dealing with uh, terrain that's not uh, super smooth don't get me wrong this this path is like super smooth but yeah it just it just it just works better but man I'm I'm super impressed with this little wheel man it's it's light you know, there was like big sand over the over the road and I couldn't I couldn't go through it I just basically get off pick it up carry it over put it down go the lift switch works a treat range test is complete and I just want to give you some of the stats this is on EEC world and I've done 16.72 uh, miles I'm sitting at 11 percent so I'm getting a, a tilt back now at uh, 15 miles per hour the, um, uh, the wheel is 36 degrees um, hour and 16 minutes top speed of 20.8 miles per hour and an average speed of 12.3 miles per hour and I'm sitting at a voltage of uh, 69.8 volt and uh, yeah I'm uh, super impressed with this little wheel battery re remaining 12 percent so, yeah that's pretty much it guys um, quick little range test so you get an, a rough idea of how far you can go on this wheel my feet are getting a little bit um, sort of uh, uh, sore but otherwise it's uh, it's it's really nice I'm close to home now I can now just go and 
grab a nice drink, cool down. But yeah, nice range test. This is a, such a nice one. This is not the ideal situation for this wheel because you would expect it to be in a town, cruising around, having some fun. Um, and maybe next to the beachfront, we want to cover like, like shorter range, not top end speed all the time, cruising at 18, uh, 19, 20 miles an hour. You just want to go in, do a little bit of cruising around, get the family on the wheel. And this is a perfect fam family wheel as well. It's light, everyone can manage the wheel. It is just brilliant. But okay guys, I hope, I hope you have a lovely day, uh, rest of your day. And uh, I hope you also get time to uh, get out on your wheels. The other thing is as well, is um, if you guys uh, haven't subscribed, please drop a subscribe somewhere there. Um, and if you do like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if there's any questions about this wheel, please uh, drop it in the comments below and I will try and answer them. Um, I'm going to have the wheel for probably another week, week and a half, I think, um, of riding. So if there's any questions about it, something you want me to check out, please let me now know down in the comments below. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.